I'm recording this video to help us understand the idea or the conceptual understanding behind constructing a triangle given three side lengths. So this is the case of SSF, right? So if we are given three side lengths, there could only be one triangle. And all triangles that we construct that have six centimeter, three centimeter, and four centimeter as a side, they are all congruent. So that is the SSS theorem. Okay. So now how do I construct? So you were already given two points P and Q with a side length of six centimeter. So all we need to do right now is to draw the other two sides, three centimeter and four centimeter. But really, all I need is really find where the third point R is. Once if I can determine where R is, then I know the triangle, right? How do I do that? So R must be three centimeters away. So that, what does that mean? You know, maybe it could be here, it could be here, or it could be here, as long as it's three centimeters, or maybe here, right? Or even here, or here, or even there. All these are three centimeters away. So about three centimeters away, okay? So now, really, this is not how we go about it. Maybe what we want to do is to draw a locus of all the possible points for R. How do I do that? Since it must be three centimeters away, we have learned that a circle are all the possible points, such that if I specify this is the radius, and I specify, no, this is the center, and P is the center, and I satisfy, specify the radius as three. I can leave out the units in algebra. These are all the possible points for R. Right, let me go back to the move. Now, let me show this as points, right? So the style, let me change it to points. All right. So these are all the possible points of R, right? But it must also be four centimeters away from Q. So what am I going to do? I draw another locus for all the possible points for R, such that it is four centimeters away from Q. So again, this time I click on this circle with center and radius. I pick the center Q and I specify the radius to be four. And these are all the possible points, all right? So you, I'm going to show it as just change the style to points. All right, so sorry. Um, I think I created two circles instead of one. Let me do it one more time. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, let me change it, the style into the points, yes, no. Style of points. Oh, okay. So now you see that we have two locus. So on one hand, R should be three centimeters away from P, but it also must be four centimeters away. By looking at these two circles, can you see that R can only be at exactly two locations? It can be either on the left of the line segment or on the right. If I think R is here, hmm, what happens? Let me look, try on the right. Okay, so if R is there, let me change it to R, then I got one triangle. All right, let me change this to R. No, this one. Not a circle, the point I want is the point that I want it to be R. I want to make this point, change it to R. Right, instead of A, let me call this R. Okay, you see? All right, then you can draw the line segment for PR. 
and R Q. Okay, and then we can check and show the value setting by going so instead of the label segment G, I want to show the value of I want to show the okay, so you will see that the value is three. Yes, no. Hmm, I think I'm still on trading my segment. All right. Let me move the three on this side. And then here, I want to show the instead of the name, I want to show the value. All right. And then you'll see that it's four. Does it make sense? So you see, I have created a PQR to be on the right side. But we also know that R could also be at this position. Yeah. There's an intersection of the two circles. So we can create two triangles. And both of them are congruent, congruent. Okay. Because given an SSS, all triangles with that with, with the SSS, they must be congruent to one another. Okay, I hope this helps.